and the crowd goes wild. John Nutt, Fox Sports Asia, Eat, Pray, Fight as a combat connoisseur. Fights are going on all around me at all times. We're here at my home away from home, the clubhouse, Sukhumvit Soy 23 in Bangkok, Thailand. One championship is on the screen. This is where my, our mission for this edition of Eat, Pray, Fight gets lit up like a phoenix. Now we obviously asked the guy to turn it up even though we're not staying long because we're going down the road to Grammy GMM Arena where my boy Noi is fighting in Moy Extreme. If you're a Falang, no paying the tax, if you will. It's a new show with a new theme using seven ounce MMA gloves and Muay Thai rules to the advantage of the fans. Studio shows are very funny because this is literally what I grew up with as held in a live studio audience. That's right, they've got guys that hold up applause signs in Thai for the audience to ruckus and get wild to. It makes it really fun. <laughs> I run into the Brad Pitt of Thailand, Matthew Dean. Not only one of the most handsome men, but this guy's literally like Bruce Buffer in Thailand. Backstage at the Moy Extreme event, it's always a family affair. Smells of the normal Nam Man Moy. Kung Moon champion, I was in Patea, S1 champion, WMF, huge in China. And we ran into Noi, gave him a choke D cup, good luck in the Thai language. Then we had to break out the moment that we left. Noi scored the knockout. And this, I think, is the best free show in the kingdom right now. Leaving the city is always a bittersweet one for me. I mean, Bangkok is home. Going to Shanghai for the inaugural UFC event? Well, this is gonna be awesome. We're checking into Air Asia, also a parent company of Toon Talk, Malaysian invasion supporters. You see how this is all circular? Air Asia is supporting the UFC. That's right, Air Asia. Supporting the sport and growing the game since 2017. Full metal mission to Shanghai. We landed late in the evening, I mean 3 a.m. That's, that's the old just in case stick. <laughs> you know what I mean? Huh? Bang it up. There it is. As a boy from Bangkok, this weather is absolutely frigid. After paying way too much for a taxi, we got on our way to the hotel, which I must say, the hotel was the nicest, most affordable hotel I've ever stayed in in any major city in the world. Uh, my muscles, my muscles. Started my evening in Bangkok, finishing with my morning in Shanghai, fighting how tired I am. We're gonna catch some Z's before catching up with my boy Prem. Eat, pray, fight is always a mission, and on this mission, it's Mission Shanghai. I'm running to my good friend Prem, who I'm handing off a mission. Now these are some FMD gloves, bad boys. You need to get these signed up by anyone you want. I know this is the man behind the man behind the man that's behind the curtain. So he runs into everybody. Feel free to get him up by officials, feel free to get him up by fighters, feel free to get him tagged up by everybody. Know this, these will be auctioned off and 100% of the proceeds will go towards Operation Smile. Helping the children out with the cleft palate in their top of their jaw. Obviously it's a big problem in Thailand, Cambodia, Myanmar. So the donations will go towards them. Prem, you're on a freaking full metal eat, pray, fight mission. Full metal mission. Accept it? Accept it. Accept it. Central Park. Central Park. Or as Prem calls it, the swamp of Shanghai. <laughs> we decided to hit the road. We're staying literally right up the road from where the rest of the UFC guys are. We got some friends there, and obviously Prem is on his full metal mission to get some signatures on some gloves. Kerry Hotel. The Kerry Hotel. Right on the Central Park of Shanghai. Again, home to the UFC when they're in Shanghai. We ran into everybody nice looking. So Vegas of Vegas to the Vegas of Asia. And well. everywhere else. <laughs> John Anik, the new mouth of the South. He's also a masshole. Me and him know each other through uh, family friends. Herb Dean, Mark Goddard, one of the best referees in the business. He's also the uh, head official for IMAF. Big Nog in the house, Big Nog. Many thanks. Whoosh. 
John Nutt here with a nut cracker. You see what I did there? Nothing says Christmas like a big cage in your lobby. Think of the number one most festive spots in the world for Christmas. I'm telling you, the festive spirit was alive and well. We stopped by Johnny Moo, which is basically like Johnny Rockets of Shanghai. It's a 1950s, 60s diner-esque type of stuff with tapas galore. We got down on all. And let's start it like this, son. Pulling with this one and that one. Pulling up gas for fun. Yes, I can do that. I've been to shows around the globe, but in Shanghai, I've never been to a UFC. Neither has anybody, because this is the inaugural UFC event, and it is at the Mercedes-Benz Arena. The security was in full force. Uh, I've never picked up my credentials through iron bars. For this show in Shanghai, you can obviously see that the expats are in full effect. The expat crowd was flying in from everywhere, but it was the Chinese fans that I was so impressed by. I love going over to the UFC store, and I do it at pretty much every event. But you want to bet every single one of these shirts and hats were made in China. Sold out capacity crowd, 15,000 plus people. It was awesome. Gratitude was held across the board. Everybody was psyched that the UFC was in town. <laughs> Electric doesn't do it justice. The Chinese fans, they were on fire. And the crowd goes wild! <laughs> the Chinese fans erupt. They are way louder oh, man, yeah. than the shows that I've been into in Japan. Sponsors had definitely done their jobs and they definitely got their ROI. Go UFC Shanghai! It was everywhere, in your face, especially that old Air Asian. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, follow. <laughs> Fighting out of the red corner. A big martial artist, holy professional. You bring some Brazilians, they're gonna let you know where they come from. Every near miss of a punch or kick, you could hear the audience erupt. They were absolutely into the game. Now, I've been to other UFC shows in other countries where they don't understand it as well as Shanghai. In Shanghai, the matchmaking was awesome and the Chinese fighters stepped up their game and showed what they were made of. They really, truly bit down on their mouth guards and threw leather. The foreign fighters that came in, a lot of them, in fact, got demolished. A special shout out to Paradigm represented fighter, The Leech. Look out for this guy in the future. He's absolutely crazy. I made my way to my seat for the main event. That's pretty much the only time that I sit down at these events. The rest of the time I'm running around like a chicken with his head cut off. But I needed to see this. I needed to see whether the count was gonna hang in there or Gastelum was gonna get that KO. Kelvin looking exactly like the Tasmanian Devil. Although Michael Bisping is naturally kind of considered a heel, he's kind of known as being the bad boy of Britain. On this one, he went from being the heel to the hero. The Chinese fans definitely respected the count for stepping up and taking this action. I mean, after all, wasn't for Michael Bisming stepping up to fight Calvin Gastelum, the Shanghai card could have been a bust. Fans getting behind Michael Bisping here, about two and a half minutes in. Absolutely huge finish, knocking out a former champion, Kelvin Gastelum, gotta be proud about it. Made my way to the after fight press conference, a lot of friendly faces and a lot of people that I really enjoy. Kevin from the UFC Asia took to the podium and I felt I needed to ask him some questions. Um, John Nutt, Fox Sports Asia. Just wondering again, you said you're going back to the drawing board on Monday, uh, the progression of the UFC coming into Asia, it's been a little bit slower than a lot of the fans have been have wanted. Singapore was an awesome card. This card was, I mean, the energy in there was electric. I just want to know a little bit more about your expansion plans for kind of the rest of Asia. Any more plans for Southeast Asia? I mean, this was a really killer, but I mean, any, any plans on Bangkok? Any plans on other larger major cities in Southeast Asia? 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, the fan base is really growing in, in, across all of Asia, North Asia, Southeast Asia. Um, we have a limited amount of, of, of events that we're going to bring to the region every year. Um, so, you know, we, we have an eye on, on markets like you say, you know, like, like Thailand. And, and, um, but there, there are so many places to go. <laughs> so, let's go to Bangkok. Post the show, we decided to get our last minute eat on. Concentration of people in Shanghai has the volume of all the water in the glass, but the viscosity of it too. It seems to flow. It's, it's kind of the love child of Singapore and Hong Kong. That's Shanghai. I met up with the Toon Talk bunch, big Jason Lowe, Prem Farah, and Joe Lu to get our eat on at multiple places before yeah. leaving yeah. back to the airport. Little peek in case Wanna know what it tastes like? It tastes like the gout. All right. Yeah, tail end of the journey. Last leg. Shanghai has been a phenomenal trip. I'll tell you what, man. To go from a 1993 UFC one with the old Hoist Gracie and all that, to now the expansion into China and the first mainland China show in Shanghai, and having the people actually be educated toward it and, and dig it and want, to want more. Kudos and congrats to all the people at the UFC for making this magic happen over the years. Um, I, for one, am a happy person to be a part of it. Happy to see it expand. And uh, we met so many lovely people, ate so much rich food, and just enjoyed the travels. The top three things that you need to do, eat, pray, Right.